Hello, my name is Sally. I'm one of the endocrine CNSs, and in this video we're going to think about what to do if your child is very unwell and requires an emergency injection of hydrocortisone. You will be prescribed three packs from this trust. You will get one for school, one for home, and one for having on your child at all times. There are two forms of hydrocortisone, either the powder and water that need mixing, or a pre-made form of hydrocortisone. Also in your pack, there will be a tube of glucose gel. This is a sugary gel that we use to correct the symptoms of a low blood sugar. This should only be used if the child is conscious and you simply use it by twisting the top off and rubbing it into the inside of the cheeks and the gums. We suggest that you put your emergency kits in a clear box with snap sides. This means you've always got somewhere clean and dry to work from if your child is unwell out and about. It also means that you can snap the box once the um, injection is used and it will keep your sharps safe. You can hand the box over to the ambulance and they will then know what you've given. We have an app available called My Cortisol, which is free to download from Google Play and the App Store. When you download it, you will see two videos at the bottom, the one for the premix liquid hydrocortisone and one for the powder and water formulation. These videos don't have sound on them. If you were given the injection, it's quite a stressful situation. Often there's a lot of people shouting, so we don't have sound on them. You just simply play the video as so, and you can watch that. Within the app, you can call 999 and you just confirm that that's what you want to do. And the words that you need to say to the paramedics or the, the call center, adrenal crisis, are right above. There is a section on giving the sugary gel, the glucose gel. And again, it reminds us not to use it if the child is unconscious. There's also a section for recording your child's normal medications. This again is because in an emergency situation you tend to forget and if you've got it written down you can very quickly find that information for the people that need it. And finally, just like the steroid cards, there is a section for instructions for a hospital doctor. The Google Play version of the app does look quite different but the information is essentially the same. This first injection is about how to give the pre-made liquid hydrocortisone. First we need to open the bottle of hydrocortisone. You're going to hold the bottle at an angle and you're going to tap the top of the vial. Find the blue spot and break away from the blue spot. Next you're going to connect your needle and syringe together. By now you'll be shaking because this will be an emergency situation. So hold very tightly to the blue hub of the needle when you take the guard off. Put the needle and the syringe directly down into the bottle and draw up the whole amount. Now we need to get rid of the air. So with the needle pointing directly upwards, give a big flick on the black plunger the air will rise and you can just push the solution through until it comes out, out of the tip of the needle. Now you need to get your dosing. The dosing is according to age, so it's a quarter of a mil for 0 to 1, half a mil up to 5 years old, and over 5 year old is the whole lot, the 1 mil. Next we need to locate where we're going to give the injection. So you're going to landmark from the hip and the knee into thirds and you're going to go along roughly where the seam of the trousers would be. You're going to hold the leg, you don't need to squeeze and you're going to put the needle in at a 90 degree angle and then you put your thumb over the plunger and you push the solution in. Take it out, drop everything into the box, clip the box up and call 999. 
We're now going to think about how to give the injection that needs to be mixed. This is called Solucortef. First you're going to flip the yellow top of the Solucortef and then you're going to twist the top of the water for injection. Stand them both up in the corner of your box and open up your needle and syringe and you can connect these together. When you remove the needle guard, keep a hold of the blue hub of the needle and then draw up one mil of the water for injection into your syringe and then point the needle straight up and give a flick on the black plunger so the air rises and then you're going to put that one mil of water for injection into your Solucortef you need to go right into the middle of the rubber bung, there's an inner circle that's highlighted and push all the water for injection in and then stir the bottle, don't shake it otherwise you get lots of bubbles you're just going to stir it. Then you're going to withdraw the needle into the window on the rubber bung, if you go around the top you'll see so keeping the needle pointing upwards Withdraw the needle until just the tip is in the window and then you can withdraw all of the medication in there. Then again you're going to remove your air by keeping the needle pointing upwards, giving a tap on the black plunger and pushing it through until it comes to the tip of the needle. And then your doses are again quarter of a mil for under ones, half a mil for one to five and a whole mil for five plus. Next we need to locate where we're going to give the injection. So you're going to landmark from the hip and the knee into thirds and you're going to go along roughly where the seam of the trousers would be. You're going to hold the leg, you don't need to squeeze and you're going to put the needle in at a 90 degree angle and then you put your thumb over the plunger and you push the solution in. Take it out, drop everything into the box clip the box up and call 999.